Oh, it's on. The fire truck is on fire. We have set fire to a fire truck. Oh, this one slowed it down though. It stopped it. Up to normal speed. Oh my god, you would be dead. Ooh! Oh, wow. What's up guys, GT Game here, and welcome back to BeamNG. There is the ski jump over there, we are on the Alps map. But the thing I really wanted to show you, we've got a train, oh yeah. This bad boy, this is the F7A, this is an American train. That's not important, what's important is we actually have a working, yes this actually works, a train in BeamNG Drive. So that's awesome. It's a bit sparky and a little bit jank, it takes forever to put this on the actual rails, but you know what, I don't care, we've got a train, also it's overheating slightly, but don't worry about that. we got quite a few views here, so this is the uh, inside, the engineer view I believe. We've got to take it slower in this corner, I learned that the hard way. 28, let's try 28. Nope. Nope. Okay, it's flipped over, it's fallen off. So note to self, not 28, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, it's not... That's not right. <laughs> um, we've got a derailed train. This is... I, w I really want to know what happens when we hit a corner, because obviously this is not quite right. The rear wheels went on fine, but the front kind of didn't. So we're coming up to the corner now. Let's slow down just to give it a chance. Nope, it's rolled over. Yeah, that's not... Right, why is the front not on the track? So the back is... The front... Is not... Okay, so this takes forever to fix. What we've got to do is go in windowed mode like so and press F11. Actually, no, we need to get out of here and reset the train first. So that's reset like that. And if we go into the world editor, hopefully we can fix this. So I need the flying camera, which is control C. Yeah, you can see that's not really us leaning quite far. So we need this axis here to level it out and we need to move it slightly over. Okay, so we just dragged the red arrow there to move it over and this wheel's on the track. Back, are you in? Oh, not quite. Okay, I need to rotate it ever so slightly. I told you, this is quite a jank operation. Okay, I fiddled around with it a little bit, and I think this should work now. So I'm going to quickly reset it here. And please work. Please slide on. I'm really hopeful right now. Okay, it looks like it's staying on. What if we get moving? It's struggling. Come on, boy. Ugh, it's not quite on. Okay guys, I've got it working. <laughs> that was a lot of tinkering and messing around. It took forever, but that's not important. We've got it running. Uh, I should note that this is a mod, obviously. I didn't, this is not part of the game. Um, there's also trailers that go with it, but I didn't download that. I didn't want to bog my system down too much. Right, we're gonna try and make this corner properly now. So, 25 doesn't do it, what about 15? I've got a good feeling about 15. I don't want to go too slow. Yeah, about 15. Yeah, that's managing it okay. So let's get halfway around the corner. <laughs> you can see this is quite a tight corner. We can start accelerating now, I think. I don't want to go too quick. Here we go. It's a bit... <laughs> rocking back and forth, but you know. Oh, and what's that? We've got a track, a car on the track up ahead. This is the new uh, Bluebell, which is part of the new update for BMG. Let's slow this down a little. I kind of want to see this. 
Can we? Yeah, let's switch cars. So if you were a driver in the car, this is what you would see. Slowed down, obviously. Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in that. Oh my god. And switch back to the train and go. It's not even slowed down. It's just pushing it happily. <laughs> no idea how much this weighs. We managed to take the engine block clean out of the car pretty much. I'm not touching anything. It's literally this is how much it's slowing it down. That's a corner. We're not going to make that. Yeah, the car's now actually stuck to us. Oh, separated. And oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty mangled. You won't want to be in that. Okay, let's see what else we can put on the track. Um, I'm thinking something slightly bigger. Okay, we're just making our way around this corner again. I'm going to start speeding up now. Don't want to go above 20. There we go. And I've also changed the vehicle that's on the line. We have gone for this time a fire truck. Uh, this is one of the toughest vehicles in the game, so this could be quite interesting. Fire truck. I'm going to be realistic and start braking. Let's throw a bit of role play in. And let's slow this down. I like to pause it before I slow down. So we're doing 32 miles per hour. Yeah, fire truck doesn't stand a chance. Not a hope in hell. I did it this way because if you go the other way, those two concrete blocks can cause problems with it, I find. So that's why I've gone this way with the train. Oh, it's on. F the fire truck is on fire. We have set fire to a fire truck. Oh, this one slowed it down, though. It stopped it. Can we reverse off it now? No, we're just dragging it. <laughs> just dragging it backwards. It's okay, I've got a solution. Come on, speed up a bit. I've got a solution to get this fire truck off the uh, the locomotive. Concrete blocks, do your thing. All that. That works. Stop! <laughs> stop. <laughs> Takes forever to stop, this train does. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty mangled. That's okay, though. <laughs> you would not want to be in that. Oh, wow. Alright, let's give it something else to hit. Something else big. I'm going to hit the bus at some point, obviously, but... I don't know, I kind of want to work up to that. Do you know what? I've got a plan. Okay, this is based on a real video that I once saw. Where the truck was reversing onto a train track. So let's just start reversing. Oh, that's going to hit it. Ooh. You see, trucks are big, but they're not train big. It's just dragging it. Literally is not doing anything to it. It's just dragging it. Oh my god. It still hasn't stopped. How fast are we going now? Nine miles an hour? Yeah, I'm going to stop this before we go too far. And that one is not stuck to. It's just massively deformed it. Still works though, kind of. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm feeling one last thing and then we're going to change maps. So, what am I going to go for? Yep, yeah, we've got a bus and I've already broken the windows. What are you thinking, centre? Yeah, I'm thinking centre would be okay. So let's let's get in here and uh, get going. Okay, we're just navigating the tight corner. Oh, I'm trying not to go above 20. This train really doesn't like it. And go, full speed. Let's go. Interior view, just for the uh, the added role play. What have we got? We've got a bus. <laughs> We're about to hit this bus at 40 miles per hour. 45. Ooh, you would not want to be on that. Let's start braking. You can just hear the bus's wheels squealing. The, the hood's gone. All the kids are dead. <laughs> that's, that's not a good thing, probably. Oh, we stalled the train. 
Oh, there it goes. Nice, really struggling to move with this bus stuck to it. Yes, it's not gonna go. We actually managed to stop the train, but equally the bus is absolutely... I wouldn't want to be on that at all. So you can tr see the train rained in the corner up there. This is going to be bad, guys. This is what... Let's imagine that this bus broke down as it was climbing the hill or something. It stopped on the level crossing. This is what the kids in the back would see. This could very well be graphic. <laughs> Views of a nervous disposition. Look away any time about now, I would have thought. There it goes. Ooh. There's track. Oh my god, that's a drop. We're right at the back. Yeah, that's that kid's dead. Maybe survived. Right, I'm thinking a switch of map now. That could be quite entertaining. Okay, guys, we're on a new map. We're on Rockwood this time. And uh, this is, I think, the only other map I got which has got railroad tracks. So we're going to use this one. It's a lot bigger, so we should be able to get some pretty good speeds out of this. I've already put the Bluebird back on the tracks up ahead, just as a little test. And uh, hopefully we can hit it. Unfortunately, some of my mods are actually broken at this moment, because BeamNG just had an update and it broke a bunch of stuff. But ignore that. We're going 50 miles per hour. That's more than double what we was doing last time. Or almost double. Here's our little car, we're going 56, 58, 50, 60 miles per hour. That just absolutely destroyed it. Ooh, ooh. We've managed to derail the train. Oh. Yeah, we broke it. We broke the train. It's still going. Oh my god. Yeah, when, when the car hit that level crossing, it... Oh, there's what's left of the car it's stuck in our wheel. <laughs> when we hit the level crossing, it just absolutely derailed the train. That was bad. Damn. <laughs> there was nothing left of that car. Oh my god. Right, what are we going to use this time? I know what I want to do. I want to do a big finale. So I'm saving the truck for that. Uh, what should we hit? That's a good question. What about a Mustang? Yeah, let's hit the Mustang. Uh, police package. It's got to be, right? I'm a police county guy myself. Come on. There it goes. This is my lovely Ford Mustang. It's not fully on the tracks as well. I don't know if that's going to hinder us or help us. So, uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Come on, let's build up some speed. Sparks already flying out from under the wheel. Not surprised it did just derail. Oh, we should do it in this view. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like in this view. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So, what was it? 60 miles per hour we hit last time. That's a lot. That's almost 100 kilometers for the uh, Canadians and Europeans out there. One, one crossing, one railroad crossing. Where is it? Look, it's very bumpy. There it is. Ooh! You see, this is why you don't mess with trains. I'm braking full force right now. And it just doesn't want to stop. <laughs> there goes the wheel. <laughs> yep, there's where we stopped. We travelled a heck of a distance after that impact. That's absolutely destroyed. It's absolutely just dead. Everyone on board, dead. Siren still works, but other than that... I can't even see the car. That is just dead. You can see where the train hit there. God, I would not want to be on that. Okay, we're going to be doing 60 miles an hour into someone's very expensive pride and joy here. I'm going to slow this down when we approach it, because this could be... I don't know, I've got a feeling about this one. Pause. 
Ooh, that was close. Let's <laughs> slow this right down, shall we? 100 times. 58 miles per hour. 100 times the speed. Oh, this car's dead. Ooh. It's actually shaking the camera here that hard. Up to more speed. Oh my god, you would be dead. Ooh. Ooh wow. That glitched. <laughs> that glitched out. Oh my god, the wheels are up through the cab. Jesus on a stick. That was. I got that on replay, I think. <laughs> Let's have a look at that, shall we? Where is it? Replay. There we go. So this is somebody's pride and joy. The love of their life. You could just about see the train in the distance up there. Never ever mess around on the train tracks, guys. I'm not even going to bother first person view. This car's just going to get annihilated straight away. Here it comes. 56, 57. Ooh, you would not want to be in that. That's where it glitched. <laughs> it just launched it. Absolutely destroyed it. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Right, I'm feeling the finale now. It's still going. I've stopped the replay. It's still just sliding down the street. Oh my god. <laughs> Why haven't we going to review? Uh, yep, that's about right. There's the seat. That is the seat right there. Okay, guys, the finale. Here we go. <laughs> this train, which I'm getting up to speed now. As soon as I hit about 45, 50. Yeah, as soon as I hit about 50, I'm going to switch over. And we are going to switch now to 20 tons of American Pride. No, I'm not going to do it. It's not going to do it in time. Please, come on. No! No! Oh, epic fail. No way. Oh, that's actually disappointed. Okay, I'm going to move this closer to the track. That was a fail and a half right there. Let's try that again. Oh, no. I feel really devastated now. Right, I'm going to switch when we hit 50. We're doing 10 right now. I don't know how far this track goes, mind. This could be a very long track, but I think 60 is about the top speed of this train. Right, 35. 40. I want to get this right. 45. 50. And switch over. Come on. No, I'm in the wrong vehicle. There we go. No! No! No way! Twice! It's not even making it up this hill. Okay, 48, 49, 50 and switch. And I've engaged the um, diff lock now. So we can actually get moving. There it goes. Ooh, it's going to hit the trailer. I can't, I'm stuck. Ooh! <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. 20 tons of steel pipes versus a train. And no one really won that. I still don't want to be on board. Look at the wheels on the... Jesus Christ. The train's still trying to go somewhere. It's, I, can, I can still accelerate it. That's insane. Oh wow. Anyway guys, we finally managed to do it. That was an epic that was two epic fails for the grand finale, but we finally did it. We hit a train against a semi truck. <laughs> I can't believe it failed twice. Oh man. The truck wouldn't even move the second time. Right, anyway guys, that is gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's absolutely mangled, and uh, make sure you come back for the next video, and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.